Uh, uh, uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. If it's all about Jonathan Thomas you'd know, then gather up close to your radio. For right now, don't you worry, is the rest of the story of what happened in the last episode. There, deep in the gloom of the Forest of Doom, there by the side of the road. You remember, of course, Gorgonzola of the Horse, and the kind old man in the moon, and the sweet fairy queen, the loveliest scene, and the three dwarfs who sang their tune, and the wicked old witch of Rumpelstitch, and the squirrel named Whiskery Bill. And, of course, you've heard what has occurred in the forest so deep and still. No? Well, the witch brewed her brew, as all witches do, and made a terrible promise to hold in her keep through the magic of sleep poor little Jonathan Thomas. But the sweet fairy queen had the spell foreseen and worked out an antidote true, an acorn to take to keep them awake until they were the deep forest through. But before very long, something went wrong in that forest so dark and deep, and the evilly spell worked more than quite well, and Jonathan Thomas went sound asleep. And now Gorgonzola the horse, and all the others, of course, are shedding the saltiest tears, for the witch's dire promise is that Jonathan Thomas won't wake for a million years. But the squirrel and the horse and the man in the moon say that something has got to be done. And they're planning and scheming, even more than you're dreaming, of everything under the sun. And of course, very soon, the man in the moon, trying to think of something that mends, sent all around to every near town for all of his very good friends. But the day is so sad and most horribly bad and the snow is covering the ground, and all they can do is to cry, boo-hoo, which you'll have to admit is the mournfulest sound. But quite far away, there is one who is gay, who rules o'er the kingdom of Rumpelstitch, who wears such a smile that it sets my blood rile. She's the terrible and wicked old witch. <laughs> <laughs> Squim dum dee, squim dum do. There are some things that I would know. So, oh mirror on the wall, speak the truth and tell it all. The truth, oh witch of Rumpelstitch, is that your spell has worked most well. For deep within the forest gloom, there is a scene of doleful doom. And most well you've kept your promise. For there on the snow is one you know by the name of Jonathan Thomas. Ha ha, forsooth, you speak the truth, which makes me most happy and gay. For I've well kept my promise about Jonathan Thomas, who'll sleep forever <laughs> and a day. Is there no potion which can break this notion, O witch of Rumpelstitch? which can break through the spell which you've woven quite well with your needle and magic stitch? There is one indeed, but one which nobody knows. The spell can be broken by only one token, and that is the red, red rose. They'll never dream of such a scheme, and if they did, I'll place my bid within the winter wind that blows. Ah, uh -huh, you're right. The wind of bite. And chill is the icy snows. And so my spell is woven quite well. For there is no red, red rose. Squim dum dee, squim dum doos. <laughs> for there is no red, red rose. <laughs> Jonathan Thomas, I am the tree, as you can see, and I'll give you my branches for a bed. And I am the bird whose songs you've heard, and I'll give you my feathers 
for your head. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Poor Jonathan Thomas. Oh, whatever shall we do? Oh, I wish I could help. And I feel so sad because it's all my fault. Yeah, well, oh, say, wait a minute. I've got an idea. What is it? Oh, why in the world didn't I think of it before? <laughs> My gracious to goodness, Mr. Man in the Moon, I do believe you're growing feeble-minded. Hurry and think, as quick as a wink. Oh, please tell me your great idea. Why, of course. <laughs> she said whenever there was trouble, why, yes, I remember it as plain as day. The Fairy Queen, she said to say... Hon, squee, non, squee, giggly, vey. Here I am. You sent for me. I heard your call as plain could be. Oh, goodness gracious and Jiminy Cricket, I'm glad you came. Poor Jonathan Thomas, he fell off the horse. Of course. And? It seems he's fallen under the spell. Which the wicked old witch has cast quite well. And now he's going so sound asleep, we can't awaken him when we've tried for a week. I can give naught but my tears through the weary years. For my magic has not the strength to break this sleep which is very deep. And no one can tell its length. Then what shall we do? We plead with you before our hearts do break. We'll go through all strife and even give up my life to make Jonathan Thomas awake. Please, your majesty, what can we do? There is but one way that I can say. Yeah, what is it? Far oh. away where the north wind blows and deep, deep under the icy snows there lies the bush of the red, red rose. Yes? Please go on, Your Majesty. Oh, yes, please do. If spring were here to bring us cheer, the spell could be broken well. But nowhere grows the red, red rose when the demons of winter shriek and yell. But if you would, or if you could, Go to the brambly briar and tell your woes to the red, red rose and speak your heart's desire. And do you suppose that it would grow us a rose? Until you've tried, nobody knows. Well, we'll sure try. I'll go, the winds do blow, and no matter how deep the snow. And I'll try my best, even though I'm, I'm distressed. And we'll pray for you. Oh. your noble deed and hope to see you soon and if you succeed I'll be your friend in need sign sincerely the man in the moon well goodbye and oh please don't let him die I'll hurry as fast as I can I'll go faster than fast if, if only I'll last faster than anyone ran yeah, goodbye, Whiskery Bill, goodbye. <laughs> Squeam dum dee, squeam dum do. There are some things that I would know. So speak, O oh magic mirror wise, and tell what within the forest lies. There is one who knows of the red, red rose. And he seeks to find it soon. <laughs> but I'll stop him quick with a magic trick. And then he'll change his tune. For there's no one so great who can make me wait. And again I make a promise. I've sealed the doom with the wax of gloom. 
on the form of Jonathan Thomas. Squim dum dee, squim dum do, on the form of Jonathan Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my gracious. Do you suppose they'll find the rose in time to save Jonathan Thomas? Oh, I hope so. Don't you? For then our dreams will come true. And they must, mustn't they? Because they've just got to find Santa Claus. So don't forget to listen to the next story of Jonathan Thomas, will you? I won't. (laughs) 